There it is. Who? Jason Giambi. This Good. guy wow, really. came out, went to the bathroom, and he really didn't want By it. the way, at this point, another observation, Jimmy's gone with poor Roland. They're gone. Yes. And then I find out later that Jimmy decided to camp out outside the men's room to get through the picture. I, I, best, it was best place to Just completely uh, camped out. It was, like I, I felt like Robert Reed. I was just and, hanging outside the men's room. And the bathroom, was, waiting and the the bathroom wasn't in a place where it would be normal to just hang outside the right. men's room. It was in a very awkward, like, nowhere's land type of area. But yeah. every time you saw security, see, this was the beauty of it. You'd see a, a black guy with a, a... And the security guys were actually, they were doing their jobs. They were okay. I mean, look, they got a job to do. Uh, they, you know, they're going to want some dummy with a camera Oh, wait, hey, could you, could you stop? That time you had eight runs done. Right. <laughs> so, uh, who was the next one that came by? Who was the next one that came by? It was uh, it was Gidry. Oh, I just lost my train of thought. Damn it. <laughs> Giambi. Yeah, uh, Giambi, okay. Stopped and signed for everybody. Took a picture with everybody. There was probably about 50 or 60 people that asked him. He doesn't want any negative uh, he press doesn't, or anything. But it was almost like he was he was just a nice dude, man. Yeah. And, and, like, I understand. These, this is a dinner. These guys don't want to be bothered. They're bothered every day. But he was just pleasant. You just say, hey, Giambino. Yeah, I, uh, Giambino. No, I didn't say that. I just said, hey, man, I'm friends with Brody Stevens and Yoshi because he knows what he wants. Hey, okay. He, like, didn't care, but he took the picture anyway. Nice guy. Yeah. I was I was very impressed. I'll never badmouth him again because he wasn't a douche to the fans. I mean, I know that all fans are burdens unless we're mediocre-looking women. I understand that because, again, you're right. Those are the ones that care when you lose. Yeah. Those are the ones that can tell you wh what games were won and lost in the 2001 World Series, Derek. It's the chick you took the picture with when you blew me off the first time and after you blew me off again. You're a stalker, And it wasn't man. over. Someone's saying uh, inbred pest from PA. Uh, Jimmy, did you say, but Derek, you're the champ. No, I didn't say anything. Hey, uh, can I pat myself on the back, uh, Mr. I don't Torrance, know. with a, a fine observation? On the flip side, I met Opie and Lindsay at Newark Airport last year, and he couldn't be nicer. He stopped walking, came back over to shake hands, started a conversation. Just a cool guy. Now that I think of it, maybe I met... Greg Hughes, the actor that plays Opie uh, in the could have been. The show. Could have been. <laughs> Let's see who else was an absolute uh, douche. Okay. Uh, okay, Gidry was tolerable, kind of a dick vibe. Uh, at one point, Tina Martinez walked out. All right, very I, good. I had been waiting by the bathroom like an absolute creep. It's a good find. So he's walking towards me. I go, uh, Tina, can I get a quick shower with you? And he looked annoyed. I go, when you're done. I thought he was going to the bathroom. What's he do? The security walks him through the like an exit door. They walk him through the exit and he leaves. So that was my fault. But he's a dick, and I saw it in your face, when, stupid. When you're done leaving? Yeah, when you're done. Like maybe next season if you get re-signed. <laughs> Robinson Cano, the rookie, one of the biggest jerk-offs <laughs> ever. You are a jerk-off, dude. You're a jerk-off. <laughs> And I got a picture with him. <laughs> he took the picture. <laughs> of, of course he did. Thank he God he did. You. He stopped. Thank God he I did. I had the camera. I'm like, hey, Robinson. What would he have been if he didn't I'm take like, the hey, picture? I'm like, hey, Robinson, uh, can I get a picture? He goes, all right, man, quick. Make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to say that to Jimmy. Why would you say that? Dude, dude at this point, honest to God, it was me and Roland, maybe two people in this area. There was nobody there. It was you and what was left of Roland. There was nobody here. out yeah. there. That there poor was... kid obviously needs friends desperately to, to agree to hang out with you. It was not a mob scene. It right. was, there was nobody out there. Okay, there was nobody out there. I understand that there was a bunch of people. There was not a bunch of people. It was empty out there because I knew where mm -hmm. to stand and so did Roland. Uh, great moment. Opie actually got me the best moment of the night. The only good moment of the night for Ooh. me. Because uh, in the end, I do look out for you. Yeah, absolutely you know do. that. As much as I, I enjoy you being miserable, um, I also uh, have your back at security all Security had to walk these guys, right? So we would go, and we saw security walking one of the players towards the bathroom. Me and Roland would sneak out the front door and go by the bathroom and wait. <laughs> yeah, the whole plan. Um, so what happened? Well, oh, I, I, uh, Georgie Posada. I see him walking, and uh, as he's walking out, I'm like, okay, I want to get a picture. And the security guy goes, let me go to the bathroom first. I'm like, all right, so I kind of felt like a dick. Yeah. So then Posada's coming out. I had done a benefit for his wife. Uh, she runs some organization, so I did a benefit, uh, performed at Stand Up New York for her. So you got an in. Uh, well, not, none of the players came, of course, because their names weren't on it. I guess it was not going to help your public relations face uh, so you can get a sneaker endorsement. Why would you show up for it? But when he came out of the bathroom, I go, uh, believe me, you got to throw out whatever you got. I said, uh, hey, man, I performed the benefit for your wife. And he goes, oh, okay, man, look, you get a quick picture. He didn't want to stop. 
but he did because of that. And I had the camera set to black and white, so it came out wrong, and I'm panicking. Oh, no. And I'm like, George, the picture didn't come out, and he reluctantly stopped again, and we got the picture. Wow. Would have been a dick. Believe me. Dick, but was okay because I did a benefit for it. Poor Roland. Did you punch him in the face no, after it came out black not. and white? That <laughs> was my fault. I'm not. The completely my fault. 1945 Roland. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Roland. Oh, no. This sweat probably tripped onto the button and moved Was it, it in, like, sepia tone? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was. Like it was. It looked like an oldie-style Babe Ruth picture or something. The highlight of my night came when... Opal By the end of the night, Roland looked like he just got released from a Mexican prison. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, just, he, he was, was in gone. shambles when I saw him. <laughs> shambles. <laughs> he was just done, man. Wait, you know, it's like a tour of duty going on a uh, picture detail with Jim. You just don't want to do it. Like, it's like being uh, it's like being on point in the NOM. Like I said, I, we got to get Bill Burr on the phone to back me up. After the Metallica thing, I, I was done. I can't be his camera assistant no. anymore because I, I like my friendship with Jimmy and this will this will break up our friendship. I, I got my got, I got a deferment so I don't have to ever take pictures for him. Deferment. You don't go out enough to be able to hang out with Jimmy. Thank God. No, I'm annoyed that I didn't get the Tino picture. That's my fault. Highlight of my night came when Oak goes, come here, come here, come here, come here. Spike Lee right there. Now, I love Spike Lee was one of the honorees. The honorees were Spike Lee, Dave Winfield, Joe Torrey. Ollie was supposed to be, but he didn't show up, did he, Derek? Good. Maybe he knows you're a dick. Um, He's going to be at the Chicago one that they do. This what? is all over uh, the country, and and they hold another one in Chicago. Yeah. So he's going to be. At I'm that sure you'll be invited. Really? But Chicago. they had a video presentation of him and his wife, and dude, I don't even know why you want Ali there. Ali, I, dude, the he's guy, Ali. No, okay. he's not. He's one of Ali, the greatest guys to ever live. Ali died years oh, yeah, ago. Dude, he's that he's guy, the same guy, that guy in that shell. That is just shaking. No I felt so bad during that video presentation. He couldn't say word one. He sat there. His wife spoke, and he, his wife had to hold on to him, and they're both shaking like it's earthquake footage. Dude, he and, has and she's saying everything. Oh, I know. I mean, he can't talk, but didn't, mentally he's didn't fine. think he was sitting on a paint shaker, Jim. I know what he's got. He's completely the guy, there. Although he could have been. He's not, I'm saying he's not like lost mentally though. He's not gone. No. He's yeah. There. He's still Ali. He's just got. Parts. Can he sign? He was just Ali. leaning against the dryer. He's fine. <laughs> he was, and there was a couple of sneakers in there off balance. Right. The greatest athlete ever. The guy could, he would. He probably would have said like, uh, uh, Jimmy, uh, I'll be right back. And just left. <laughs> You're talking about the greatest athlete ever. The greatest. Don't even mention Babe Ruth, Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan. I'll agree. I'll agree. Greatest yeah. athlete ever. Wait, so Spike Lee is walking by. Thank you. And Oak goes, mm -hmm. Spike Lee. <laughs> so I walk over to Spike. I always try to have my moment again. Failure, just an unrecognizable nothing. And uh, he's with his kid, but he's in the middle of the audience. Do you have a Spike in? Uh, yeah. Hi, oh. Spike. Oh. I'm a white guy who can name more than just do the right thing. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, well, that's so I, an in. I, I meant it, too. I told him I thought you were robbed with X uh, in the Oscars. I, I told him that, and he's like, thank you. And I just got a quick picture. Wasn't He wasn't friendly or unfriendly. He was indifferent. But he's pretty much what I expected him to be. Like, yeah. He wasn't rude, nor was he polite. Uh, All right. I, I, when I thought I, if I thought if I met Spike Lee, he'd be a little bit nicer. But again, an event like that, you got your kid with you. You don't want to be mo okay. I get it. So he took the picture, and I saw him later. I said goodnight. He said goodnight. It was it was brief, and that was that. Yeah. Um, the highlight of the night comes when we see Derek being walked out, and I know where he's going. He's going to the bathroom. Wait, is this the end of the night? This is guys. We're coming up. Is this it. attempt number three? Uh, by the way. Two. All right, oh, hold on. Attempt hold on. two. Attempt okay. Two. Attempt two. Do we want to continue with this? Of course Raise we our hands. do. Because we got to take it. a break. Raise your hands. Damn breaks. Because we have to get into the auction part. Well, I want to hear about all the all the uh, crap that went on though with yeah. the signatures. Yeah, and, and we'll then get to the auction. And part. then the auction part because uh, at one point the entire place turned around and looked at Jimmy. Yeah. And uh, we'll tell you what happened. We wanted with that. to kill him. And we'll tell you how uh, it ended with the Derek Jeter thing. Yeah. All right. It's the yeah the virus. gift basket. <laughs> It's and the, the gift basket. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the gift basket. A lot of gifts. Did you open it up when you got home and sort through the goods? <laughs> what the hell? It's, uh, it's the day before a long weekend. We'll continue with this because it's way too good. We, we do have other things we really want to get to today. We'll see. Uh, it's the only virus spreading across America. We'll wrap up with Jimmy. And the hey, hey, look, if you're getting impatient listening to it, turn something else on. I don't know what to tell you. No, yeah. I don't think they are.
No. To be honest with you, the phone. Are you kidding? I've never been hotter. The instant feedback, it, it can't even update fast enough with everyone's comments. Uh, most people with you, by the way, Jimmy. Yeah, most people with you. I don't care. I've never blown off a fan in my life. Go Sox, right? Yeah. <laughs> I hate the Yankees, dude. For real. I hate and he it. hates that he hates the Yankees. It you don't understand. Really Jimmy doesn't want to hate the Yankees. Hurts. He loves the Yankees. But now it's all personal. He's always loved the Yankees. Of course he has. I, can I bring you to the dark side? The Mets are doing great uh, this year. Suck. I, mean, I never liked the Mets, dude. I don't like that organization. The Lil Brothers of the Yankees. Uh, respect Boston. Uh, Lil Brothers. Look at the standings. It's the only virus spreading across America. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. The only virus spreading across America. We're almost done with Lil Jimmy Norton from last night at the Derek Jeter event here in New York City. Man, if you're just tuning in, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. It's been an unbelievable hour just listening to Jimmy uh, have a meltdown. Well, it was a big night. You got to listen longer to the Opie and Anthony show. You're missing stuff. It was a big night. We all went to the uh, Derek Jeter uh, charity event. This is uh, Turn 2 charity. He's been doing it for 10 years. A lot of people show up, and Jimmy, uh, Jimmy's into getting the pictures taken with the celebrities and the sports figures, and getting uh, pictures that he has taken in the past with these people uh, autographed at the events, getting the collection all together. And a lot of times he gets blown off, and it gets him pissed off to a point of pissed off that none of us can really relate to. It's, it's someone came in. It's, it's like. It's like Death Wish pissed off. <laughs> a group came in, maybe raped and killed your daughter, sent her to a mental institution, killed your wife, something like that. That type of pissed off. Um, Paul Kersey pissed. This this uh, this brings him back to something that we don't know about yet. It's just a confirmation of what, just what a nothing I am. And I'm serious, that's exactly what it is. But you're on the road from nothing yeah. to... Kind of yeah, know you, Bill. Yeah, exactly. You're I, on an I, I HBO media, show. Exactly. And nobody cares. You were and just Adam on the Post Drop dead. I read what you wrote today. Oh. I'd like to bite your face, too, if you were here right now. Wait, what Ooh. did he do to you? Just wrote that Lucky Louis has succeeded in nothing more than being vulgar. Sorry, we used dirty language, scumbag Puritan Post writer. I hate the New York Post. You know, I'm with you there. John Minnelli wrote an article on this Why show, would they publish it? And they didn't even publish it. No. John no. Manelli listens every day. I love you, bro, but I'm done with your paper. Your paper I'm done stinks. with your paper. We could still be friends. We could talk here and there. But as far as doing interviews with you or anyone else at the Post, we're done with them. They wrote a, I mean, a, the, the, he wrote a, a really nice article. He sent it to me. It was about the ratings and how we're we're having this massive comeback in radio. It's yep. it's one of the biggest radio stories ever. And what do they do in, as far as the radio section goes? What was their big story? Uh, today. I, I don't even know. Don't even know? I don't even know. And then Manelli said, you know, it's going to be in the back section, which is a great part of the paper. It's near the TV stuff, uh, the place where most people go when they're reading the New York Post. And then I, I, I wrote him said, what's going on with the article? He goes, well, now I think it's going to be in the business section on Tuesday. And Tuesday, uh, obviously, is, what, three days ago at this point? And, and there's, there's, there's no sign of this article. Because someone at the Post just hates our yeah, guts, I'm sure. and they're Howard fans and all that BS. Well, when they print uh, Dopey Opie and Pervy Pal. We don't I want to get their names. I just want to start giving out their names on the air. We don't need the New York Post to be successful. So, John, I'm sorry to say we're done with, uh, uh, with uh, the paper you work for. Done. Done with them. But anyway, go ahead, Jim. I gotta yes. know what happened. Back to douche. <laughs> uh, at the event, I already mentioned we've covered a lot of ground. Jeter has been walking. Um, towards the bathroom, mm -hmm. he's got four security guards with him. This is your second attempt to get second attempt. to get your picture signed. Not all I want, I don't want it personalized. Just Derek and Jeter on a picture of me and him. Mm -hmm. That's it. So I stand outside the bathroom. One of the massive security guards I know from Caroline's. He was a guy there. He's a nice dude. Oh, there's he, an in. He goes, "Hey, Jim." Well, he couldn't do anything, but I knew he wouldn't push me away. Uh huh. So Derek walks out. Dude, I have. My picture, the pen read. I have the pen open. and The cap isn't even on it. It's in grab it and sign position. It could take probably under a second. Where's Roland? Can Roland come in? Because oh, he saw. He's barely standing up at this point. He saw what happened. Derek walks out. I go, I even, I, I even said just in case he didn't see it was a picture of me and him. Hey, man, uh -huh. can you sign this picture of me and you? And he goes, oh, not now, man. I'll do it later. Oh, the and, old later gag. And I knew that he purposefully looked at my face, didn't like me, and kept going. I knew, and Roland, you saw it. 
Yeah, he had this look when he saw Jamie. He was like, ah, oh, not again. <laughs> he just... And-